He's trying to get intense below 32? Holy shit! It's 31 with your friendly. Yeah, I need to get AC. I'm not gonna bother getting it this summer. Summer. <laughs> We're in fucking September. But I'm gonna get it sorted for next summer. How long till the panel? A panel is in. Let me think. Seven hours. Seven hours and 20 minutes. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if Brian just came out with something fucking crazy, I'll be honest. There's a, there's a few possibilities for Brian. He either just goes in there and just answers questions. Uh, when I say answers questions, deflects all the answers and we have to go over how to answer questions five times. Option two is he comes in and starts attacking Dark and starts talking about how Dark is maliciously, I don't know what the word would be, investigating Brian uh, for killing his son. Um, or option three is he's just going to kill Dark. Hello. Uh, I, could I, have you still got the two free meal thing or is it, is it ended? The what, what meal? The, the two free meals for the police. Oh, never mind, uh, the, the form the doesn't one work on our phones, really so, units, so we haven't to charge right. cops when they need. Oh, okay, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll just take two meals anyway. Can I get two uh, tuna subs, please, with uh, lettuce and mayo? No sweet corn, no. And then some salt and vinegar crisps, please. And can you put those in the subs? Uh, yeah, I can. Do that. Thank you very much. The extras on the tray for you. Oh, that's so, perfect. Uh, that's the best. Do you want huge sandwiches or just regular size sandwiches? Well, what's a huge sandwich? Well, the huge sandwiches come with coffee. Regular size come with sodas. So I guess that's... Uh, and obviously a size difference. Huge well, you want any tea? With, uh, tea? Um, we got lemon tea. Yeah. Now I'll have the soda, yeah. please. All right, all right. Let me get those for you then. Thank you. Two, two colas. All right, just give me a minute and I will get the crisps in the sandwich for you. Thank you very much. You've been busy today. Uh, on, on and off, shall we say. On and off, off. all right, not too bad. But uh, I'm actually going off shift in a few minutes, so I guess, I guess you timed it right, but... Yeah, there we go. Customers while I've been here, it's not been that bad. All right. Okay. How much do I owe you? Uh, that'll be eight hundred before tax. So can I get your state ID, please? Yeah, it's twenty one fifty four. What's dark done today? Nothing yet. I'll be honest. Now. Right there we go. All right, cheers. Oh, I'm only putting one out. Just bear with me. I'll do that properly. Two of those, two of those, two of those. Okay, there we go. As I say, I've left the extra chips on the tray for you there. Oh, but, thank you uh, very much. Rest, uh, mixed in the sandwich with everything else. All right, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Thanks so much. Enjoy your food. Have a good Have day. Chris in a sandwich is definitely a common thing. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. That's what I do. That's a that's a self insert right there. I'm a I'm a commoner. Let's be honest, guys. I'm I'm heck it common. We knew that. Okay. All right. All right. Let's I'm clearing high speed pits on all vehicles involved. Up to one twenty, no higher. Our pan South Rockford. Bro, what? Uh... Crossing San Andreas, we're still northbound, North Rockford now. Passing the movie studio, breaking hard, right, Eastbound Marathon. Oh, Chris Sandwiches are just the bomb. Oh, he thought I was royalty, what the fuck? Crossing I mean, I'll take it. 
right. I'll take it. Safan Dorset. Spikes out, Panamino. Oh boy, that was a big pit. Into a wall. Yeah, on uh, Mad Wayne Thunder and Dorset. Calm out, good shit. Uh, let's see where he gets in. Careful not to run him over. Alright, like getting into the white AMG. I want to talk to Crystal, actually. White AMG, stay with that vehicle. Oh. Did he get into the white AMG? Well, oh, got his white AMG, got the Lamborghini. Okay, target's black Lambo. Target's black Lambo. Who's staying with the car? Go three oh, units. Three of us. Alright. Left, South and North Rockford. Hang <laughs> Sock, 22nd Remember, of the state. Uh, they just got Does the you can have Jaffle? Jaffles or Jaffle? Yeah, 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 a a Jaffa cake sandwiches? Uh, Alright, well, I don't really see their feelings, frankly. Uh, we are Eastbound Vespucci. If something happens, they start shooting. Please, for the love of God, group up and stay together. Please. I'm gonna throw a uniform on uh, to help with this, actually. Peaceful, left North Pan Alter. Not the cakes. Okay, good clarification. Right, Eastbound into uh, the uh, the money place. Okay, went in the red. Different North Pan to Law Integrity, Eastbound. Towards Strawberry. East Integrity. And now, pretty safe. On. Towards MRPD. What do you have on your crisp sandwiches? Crisps. Yeah, bread. And then you butter the bread most of the time. You butter the bread so it's not completely dry. And then you put some. Your, your crisps of choice on. That's not a sandwich. That is a sandwich. Let's not argue what a sandwich is. Yeah. No, no, no. We're going for the Rancho Perfection, that's London. Right north. Sounds like a poverty delicacy. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. It's a British thing, I think, guys. Heading towards McDonald's. It is a sandwich. It is it is something in between two slices of bread. An edible thing in between two slices of bread. Listen, you could put a fucking... An orange, okay? You can put an orange in between two slices of bread and I'd call it a sandwich. An orange sandwich. Left South Carson. Or East Carson. Towards Popular. Everyone did you catch last? <laughs> Fruit sandwiches or thing. There you go. See? So if crisps are in between two slices of bread, then it's going to be a crisp sandwich. Hey, one, did you catch last? British people eating beans on toast. Okay. Listen, I got a question then, okay? People have problems with beans on toast. Don't you guys eat burritos? Isn't that just beans and sauce in some kind of carbohydrate? So what's the heckin' difference? Uh, All right, are. really, what's the difference between <laughs> beans on toast and a bean burrito? We did park up in here last time. I think we did the same Lamborghini. It's seasoned. Beans have seasoning. It's not like they're flavorless. Is that the difference between bread and ketchup and pizza? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, dude. It's okay. Yeah, it's baked beans in a can, and they're in like a sauce, and I can't describe the sauce. It's it's like a tom. Is it tomato? We I don't really know. The most British sandwich in the world. What the fuck is that? The white AMG was involved then. A toast sandwich? You have it on toast and cheese? Yes, beans on toast with cheese. It is a very, it's a very homely British meal. Yeah, we're gonna terrorize Libby. Yeah, don't worry. Have they been aggressive with cops all night? Is that what it is? Oh, I've been paid all morning, so like literally at the start of every every chase. Alright, well, I'm glad we did what we just did then. Fuck them. Yeah. 
Ding, ding. Is it an Aussie thing too? Nice. Good job, Aussies. You don't do a lot of things right, but clearly you do beans on toast right. What a fucking outfit did I have on before? Just a present? No, it's for, for me? Oh. Then you can have it if you want. No, no, I shouldn't. Where is it? I don't know what this is. Looks like a a ram. It's a Rambagina. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. It's like the Wish.com version. Yeah, a ram instead of a Lamborghini. Like a bigger nice. Trumpus. Is it? No, not Trumpus. A uh, Trumpus? Isn't that like a children's story in Norway? Yeah. I know, that's, no, that's Krampus. Krampus. Yeah, yeah. Going into Mirror Park. Krampus is German. Oh, sorry. Bing, bing, bing. Give her a call again. Cheese on toast with Worcester sauce. You know, I've never had that. I've had cheese on toast, but not with Worcester sauce. The hell, Chief? You okay there, Actually yeah, getting ignored. Real. She did it, I want it. Am I gonna have to do patrol to talk to... Uh oh. Maybe not. Odisha? Hey, Morning. how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, I'm just uh, coming around to grab some of the divine reports, but uh, I just wanted to call and see if you got everything you needed yesterday. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I did, uh, which, uh, you know, wasn't a, wasn't a whole lot, really, because uh, it hasn't been done yet. Uh, Mountain said he's going to be writing that report about the uh, divine and Owen situation. Um, I mean, obviously, that whole call from Brian... To Kiki was very concerning. I let Aurora know just in case she wasn't already aware. Yeah, I had, I had made her aware of that. Yeah, I'm quite. Um, I know you make... kind of. Go ahead. When did you make her aware of that? It would have been the before you night... saw me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because she sounded surprised. She said she didn't know it was Brian. Anyway, um, yeah. What were you? What were you saying? Another thing, I, again, this is something I'm going to bring up in, when, when we meet at some point. Um, you know, whenever that high command meeting with myself, you know, that, that stubbles trying to schedule happens. Um, but I don't know if that's going to happen before. I I, I, I know uh, Stubble said Brian's panel was supposed to be the other day, but I don't know. It's today in. Right, Seven so hours. then it's important I tell you something about... Oh, no. Look, um, I am I am thankful for everything Brian did, you know, and, and got me into the position that I am, but I, I also have a sort of <laughs> sense of morality when it comes to these things. Um, are you aware of Brian's relationship with Cap Terranova? What do you mean by relationship? Um, Brian was negotiating deals to buy equipment from Capt. Okay. The um, commissioner was aware of it. Um, but I also found out that 
that was the same day the commissioner was making deals with wep uh, weapons traffickers for weapons for the police department, uh, which was another thing I was going to bring up to you whenever our meeting happened, but um, kind of irrelevant now. Um, but yeah, we were trying to prosecute Cap Terranova for attacking officers and torturing them. Um, and Brian had kind of said to me that he was negotiating deals with Cap Terranova, and I had no idea. Wait, when was this? It would have been right before I had to leave for two weeks. So about almost three weeks ago now. So, okay. Prior, how yeah. many days prior to the war, do you think? Was it to do with the war at all, or...? No, no, it wasn't to do with the wall. Oh no! It was um. Oh God, that's even he was worse. He trying to buy equipment for MCU. He kept telling me, um, "Oh, we're we're getting this equipment so we can, you know, do better and and, and find stuff out." Um, what what you know, kind and, of equipment? Have, I don't know, uh, but he said stuff that we couldn't get in, in our armory. And he said his plan was to get it, show how useful it was, and then we could get it in our armory. Which, um, to me, I was shocked. Uh, that was at the end of a, I want to say, an 11-hour day, so I was kind of already very tired. Um, but it was his sort of idea that he wanted to um, get this equipment, and then he could prove that we needed it you know, for MCU or whatever. Um, he, um, he was of this belief that, uh, I asked him, why, well, why didn't you get it from like a government contractor or, you know, like talk to like, I don't know, the FIB or whatever and get the, get the stuff from them. And he's like, yeah, well, you know, this is where it exists in the city. And, you know, he had been making contacts and I, I can't entirely remember the conversation, um, you know, beyond, beyond what I've just told you. But, you know, the commissioner seemed aware of it. Um, I mean, that was the big thing with, with MCU that we were always told was that, you know, we didn't answer to high command. We didn't have to worry about high command. It was to the commissioner and the Senate, um, which is a mentality that I'm very much against, Doc. <laughs> um, well, well, hold on. Who, who, who told you that? The Brian. <laughs> Brian's mentality was you, you only answer to the commissioner and... Uh, Senate. Okay, was this in writing Even... or was this here in meetings? Uh, I could search through Discordia. It might be in some of our, our stuff. Um, he, he had called me, or no, he had spoken to me after his suspension. It was a quick five minute phone call, but it was very clear that him and the commissioner were still talking a lot. Uh, even when he was suspended, uh, and he kept telling me, um, he kept telling me, um, oh, I just had a really bad idea. Oh, don't worry about it. The commissioner's going to fix everything. Don't worry about having to, you know, take care of MCU. Commissioner's going to figure it all out. So that was a shock to say the least. Um, but it seems that Brian eventually came to his senses and, and, and nominated Luca, which was uh, a good choice, in my opinion. Um, yeah, instead of the senator, it was a pretty good choice, yeah. Yeah. Um, look, my... Um, like I said, I, I respect everything Brian has done for me, right? But I, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be, you know, ignore things that are concerning. Um and my concern right now is to ensure that the people who are in the detective unit and the prosecutors who are in it, the detectives or prosecutors, uh, you know, still have a job at the end of all the day. And, and I don't want them to be fucked over because of Brian. Yeah, um, I agree. The. Um, I was I was shocked to find that none of the high command reports made it to you guys. The did, high uh, command reports? 
Yeah, so monthly reports that I formulated for for High Command, for for Brian. Um, I, I did a lot of stuff for, for MCU behind the scenes. I, I don't know if you guys are ever aware of that. Um, I was in charge of uh, the information database, the roster, the master documents, the Discordia, um, scheduling meetings, meeting notes, that sort of thing. Um, but one of the things I was also in charge of was the... Um, the, the monthly reports, the summaries, that were a list of all cases active or closed during that month uh, with summaries from the detectives uh, um, and kind of like a brief synopsis so that we would send it monthly to High Command so you guys could uh, go through it and, uh, you know, be aware of what MCU was doing. Um, because Brian had, Brian had you know, it was confusing to me why High Command was never invited to the Discordia. Um, and I asked Brian, and Brian said, you guys didn't want to be involved, which I'm oh. not believing. Yeah. Um, so here, you know what, let me, I'll send you an example. The so you know what I'm talking about. I was gonna you know, I'm not going to include Discordia stuff. You know, I'm not going to do that. Because, yeah. MCU's like three or four months old at this point. The only documentation I ever saw was the one you did for the legislation changes. That one. Not that one. Yeah, and I gave that to you, didn't I? Yeah. Brian was supposed to write a forward for uh, for the July one, but here uh, um, I was going to format them before we officially sent them to you guys um, after, because I, I guess Brian never did after I was finding out. Um, but yeah, yeah, I did these these monthly reports. Brian Brian had me do them, so that we made sure that we got them done, and then they would go to high command so that they could you guys could be aware of them and. I was kind of disappointed to find out that you guys were never made aware of them. Hey, give me a minute. Let me have a look. Yeah, of course. Hold on, let me bring up the browser. I made a copy of this, so it doesn't even matter if you... Oh, I have to sign in? Okay, no, I can't see that. Think I can show this? Dude, this is what I've wanted for fucking ages. Bro. Sorry, sorry for the fast bang chat. <clears throat> and okay yeah it looks like a lot of work's been put into that and and so brian was so in, supposed to send this to high command yeah that was the intent so that way you guys were aware of you know active active cases it's a it's thing that we carried over from uh seu uh just a little bit more in depth yeah i don't recall getting any of those i could be mistaken uh there's also the possibility that brian i guess sent them to axel and then axel didn't pass them on but uh, you know i don't know I, I i yeah i don't know why we wouldn't have gotten those it's a little concerning <clears throat> well regardless um i've already started on getting august's done because it clearly wasn't done in the meantime um something Luke and I talked about was regardless of what happens with Brian, um, though I would say a lot of people in um, a lot of people in MCU aren't if, if Brian returns, I don't see them you know uh, being very happy about that considering all that's been done. I know I know Bundy is definitely of that mindset um, myself um but all that said, 
uh, with with Luca in charge, you, you know, we, we were talking about what sort of things need to change to make sure that like the actions of Brian don't happen again. And um, the biggest thing that we agreed upon was that high command needs to be far more integrated than it was before. And, and none of this sort of secrecy to only commissioner, blah, 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 blah. Um, so just to clarify, this is a thing that M not just you, but MCU in general are under the have been given the impression that MCU does not res like does not respond to high command just just the commissioner's office in the Senate. That was always I was always told. You might want to talk to the supervisors as well. Um, but you know, whenever we would have uh, an issue, I was always told my chain of command was Brian to the commissioner to the Senate. Okay. I was that was I was told my high, my uh, chain of command was. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty concerning. But I'll, I'll look into it and I'll I'll have some chats with other yeah. people. But uh, I appreciate you letting me know. Regardless, um, Luke and I are under the impression that uh, not under the impression we are, we are agreeing that um, high command needs to have a you know a larger presence in the future with with MCU. Um, so uh, I am going to to inform you guys that um, our our MCU meetings are so supervisor meetings are every Tuesday and uh, that's an hour after the EUNA storm. Mm -hmm. Wednesday it's every other Wednesday. Uh, there's a notification in the the Miss Discordia right now for them uh, for the general meetings, and we would love to have you guys there um, if you ever wanted Boy. to be there or not. We also talked, Luke and I got to confirm and, and whatnot, but we, we, we think that like in the future meetings with high command need to be regular and that way you guys are up to date to stuff because I don't like the idea of secrecy and keeping shit off the MDW and I, I think it just, it, it just kind of, it promotes that sort of, um, you you remember with with uh, SCU there was always the talk of it's gatekeeping and, and patrol's not involved and I, mm -hmm. I, I hate that shit. I think patrol makes up some of the you know the backbone of of working these cases. Um, you know, without it, how are you going to solve certain things? Um, so I think having high command and involved is is extremely important. But I don't want to speak for everyone. Um, but I think that was definitely you know, what we talked about and agreed upon. Okay. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, all right. Well, if you think of anything more concerning that Brian has done, then, then let me know before 8 p.m. tonight. Yeah, the cat thing is, is concerning. Um, but, I mean, there's all the shit he did before MCU, uh, but I, I think you are all aware of all that. So, uh, yeah. I, um, probably, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, how he helped Ocean Dump Kiki and all that stuff um, back in the day. So, but you mean the the, the Pride case? Yeah, yeah. Brian was was involved with that. Um, ah, all right. Well, oh, you weren't my... aware. No, no. Okay. That makes a lot more sense as to why she was so concerned on the phone yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Thank you, Odessa. Of course. Uh, I'm going to be... I, I, today's typically my day off. I just came around to grab reports, but um, wanted to keep you up to date with uh, with whatever. Um, and all that. The Divine case should hopefully be posted likely this afternoon or tomorrow morning based on whenever I get the Molten report. Um, and then the Axel Justice case is in progress. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Odessa. Let me know if you need anything, all right? Of course. My emails are always open to you. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. You too. Bro! It doesn't end. It doesn't fucking end. I missed a bunch of calls from you. I was piloting. I'm an airline you, pilot yeah, now. Yeah, you were ignoring me. I self-serted yeah. myself. Oh, you did that? Yeah. Oh. Well, not really. <laughs> I mean, I can fly it because I'm a chief of police, but I called Snow and said, hey, can I have a pilot's license? And he gave me a pilot's license. 
Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got a question. Uh, I got okay. a lot of questions actually. I think we should catch up before the panel. Are you you coming to the panel? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we should catch up before and get on the same page about everything. But just having a, you know, my morning my morning shock and horror session um has started today to find out that well i'll ask you this question did you ever receive any reports from mcu like a monthly summary of all the cases they were working no i did not okay yeah neither did i uh but i wanted to check it wasn't just like me as a as a assistant maybe didn't didn't no, get that did not. so apparently since MCU's begun, there has been these monthly uh, report summaries um, that were intended for High Command, and Brian said he was giving them to High Command, but we've never received any for High Command. No, not once. Hey, Snow. Not, Hello, sorry, I told... just... No, no, you, you can leave can, if you would like. You can be here. Okay, thanks, Ben. I... Uh... <laughs> sorry, poor Dollar Dad. Let me just make sure she's still alive. <laughs> Did you give her a sleeping pill? She's sleeping. Okay. Uh, Carsman's looking to try and speak to you, I think, as well, Richard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll catch you. Is he all right? Is he, uh, is he all right? He's cleared. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna, I gotta put it in the thingy, actually. Okay, that's good. Oh, yes. So, basically, uh, so, yeah, I was told that the High Command was supposed to be getting these monthly MCU reports about you know all the cases going on so the high command could be made aware and it makes oh. a lot a lot of sense that we're you know we we were never in the loop uh, and i guess because we were actually being sent these by brian uh and I then i said something about this and it was like you could ask for it too but why should i have to ask for it yeah yeah especially when someone's uh, i have uh, so many things that i you know have no. to do anyway yeah um and then apparently uh, this is this is coming from odessa and i want to i want to check with other members of F mcu but what she's telling me is that brian has made it very clear as the head of mcu that the mcu does not answer to high command and answers to the commissioner's office in the senate and that the chain of command for mcu was detective supervisors then the director then the commissioner and then the Senate. Uh, I'm going to dig around today and see if I can find the validity of that and see if that's the impression that other members of MCU have. But if that's the case, uh, well, you know, I'm not exactly uh, thrilled about that fact. <clears throat> Didn't Axel tell him that they... I thought Axel said the other day that MCU response to us like as high command uh j j so, so the yeah. last summary by the way for mcu was june that was posted in command yeah oh it was posted okay all right that's that's good uh, maybe i missed it but I'm only there. june was that a command the command hold on let me make sure it's the same And I'm also of... just looking at the SOPs. Give me a second. I'll just see if the SOPs had it in there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we <laughs> missed that when we approved. Import that. radio calls. No. <laughs> what? I just you reached for your radio. I thought there was something. Sorry. Really an important radio <clears throat> call. Yeah. Who were? Oh, um, I didn't oh. realize this. You okay, Snow? <clears throat> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Go for the, for the tier one. Oh, sorry, sir. And just, uh, this was <laughs> an announcement. SFPs from... just say that they respond to the director. That's it. Oh, that's it. I'm great. That's good. Has that always been the case? What about them responding to the not high command? No. Yeah. <laughs> is those new or well i mean we wouldn't have approved that you know so i i, I yeah. think that's just what brian has gone with and told I everybody sworn when bass 
when I was kicking up a stink about like how our plans plans have been changed for the eighth time because you know yes you'll have your own yes you'll have your own yes you'll have your own oh actually no yes you'll have your own no actually you won't Brian's gonna run it I could have sworn that he said that it was under the high command at that point because of the fact that we wanted to have overview of everything yeah yeah that makes that makes a lot of sense I could be wrong I could be wrong uh, I can't control my body right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I do weird things. Yeah, I've got, I've, okay. I'm on this medication that just freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just, I'm just looking out too. Um, so uh, about the MCU stuff as well. Whatever happened with? I had Brian appointed the senator as the lead of that. Is that that's been? It's changed out. to Luca. Yeah, it's Luca. Okay, good. Kovacovic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good. All right. And how is he feeling about things? Um, I spoke to him today. He's like, essentially wanting to hold it like hold it down until they figure out what's happening. He doesn't want the f detectives to just feel like they were left. So he's happy to do that. Um, they've set in place okay. that Molten will keep us updated with cases weekly. Do you want to take that? Yeah, so. A monthly, sorry. It's a former super terror. Hello, Michael. Yep, what's up? Uh, jet fuel doesn't melt st steel beams, but rocket fuel does. What the fuck? No, no, it's different, isn't it? Methane. It's like there's diff there's different kinds of there's different kinds of rocket fuel, right? So methane is the one that that I know SpaceX uses, um, and then there's there's a bunch of others. There's like hydrogen, obviously, and there's loads of other shit as well. But no, you couldn't put rocket fuel into a. Did you say a diesel engine? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no, it would blow up. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, I can't remember what the chemical difference is between them, but I'd imagine that jet uh, rocket fuel is far more flammable. If that's even part, I, that's what I like. I don't. I'm going to Google this right now, but I tell you, it definitely does not work in a, in a diesel engine. You do, did you put methane in it? Oh. Uh, high octane fuel. Oh yeah, I paid for some. It was extortionate. A lot of money. Engine's fine though. Sue them. Sue the fuck out of Mushkin, Michael. Sue the fuck out of her. Take her to open court. Sue the ever-living fuck out of her. She's loaded. Yes. If you need a jet fuel or rocket fuel expert, I'll come in as a scientist. You know, scientist, expert witness. All right. All right. <laughs> hmm. Spy new car, Michael. Done. Michael? All uh, right. Well, good luck, okay? All right, bye. Interesting. So Yo Fuel is blowing up engines, apparently. Said it made them do 300 miles an hour. What's Yo Fuel? Uh, they have a fuel pump at the Yo House, the Yokai House in Bimewood. Oh god! And yeah. uh, it's it, the the amount of money it costs. He said it costs him 10 grand to fill his tank. Oh my god! Great, yeah. Money. 
he was asking me what if he could put like rocket fuel in an engine. Uh, it depends on the kind of fuel, but generally no, it's not a good idea. And I don't really know what jet fuel is. Like I don't know what the difference is. Like what kind of fuel? I don't know anything about it. So I need to figure like that out. Like kerosene or something? I'm not sure. I'm gonna Google. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's some concerning things about NZ. Yeah, I don't know whether they're true or not. Um, I'm I'm trying to make you aware of anything you're not already aware of. Uh, so another concerning thing that was brought to me, I don't know whether it's true or not, but that Brian, this is prior to the war, so this is just general MCU stuff, that Brian was attempting to buy equipment from Caps Terra Nova, um, to try and get equipment for MCU so that he could, I guess, buy it, use it, show that it's good, and then, I guess, pitch it to High Command that we should get it. I guess that was the idea. Jesus fucking Christ. The, the weapons you know, traffic attempt. <laughs> yeah. He, he also apparently spoke to Michael Simone. Oh, Michael Simone. Sorry, Norman Bones. Wrong terrorist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether I want to bring that up at the the panel like uh just because it's know. you know it's normal I, I, bones but I I don't know what to bring up either but I was told some pretty wild shit by TJ about bass oh yeah yeah I was told so... the same <laughs> from TJ yeah 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 um yeah I I, I don't know about the Norman stuff. But if we need to bring it up, we can bring it up. But I don't know how, like, I just don't really know how to deal with that. Yeah. Um, so uh, part of the concern of that is that uh, apparently, according to Odessa, this is what Brian had said, that the commissioner was aware that he was trying to purchase equipment from a known weapons trafficker. So I guess it... <laughs> because it comes down to, you know, what the commissioner approved and stuff like that. But again, it's that separation from high command that's concerning um yeah okay uh not big on that you yeah, guys need yeah, to know yeah. everything i don't even like the fact you can't see the sasp area to be honest it bothers me oh yeah that's a that's a thing what about that um yeah. i don't keep anything from you guys you know everything that i know and say so in fact let me ask you if i can give you access on <laughs> i think you did i think you did ask I'll do it again. Just so... I tried to speak to Sorette yesterday uh, at the funeral, but I didn't catch him. He kind of ran off. Um, so I don't know. I think he knows that Axel is dead, but I don't know whether he's got any plans to come back or not. I would hope so. Uh, but Stubble was making, you know, a good point that even if he doesn't, you know, we didn't have the commissioner's office up until about, what, a year and a half ago? Something like that? And yeah, but we had a lot more experience at that point, and there was a lot more people in command. And the hard part right now is that everyone within high command has, like, very little experience. So it would be good to just have someone there, even if he doesn't do much, like, even if he doesn't involve himself with much, It'd be good to have someone there as like a point of advice and i mean yeah yeah Troy's always been pretty uh neutral on everything too so he's not going to be one way or the other <clears throat> um yeah i don't i don't really know i don't i i don't know where his head's at i don't know whether he'll come back though someone did tell me last night that when toretti was fired when shelby was fired toretti sent her one million dollars from a pd account who <clears throat> who was fired Sh shelby shelby was fired uh and he and sent her a million dollars yeah for i can't remember. i i don't i don't know I, I i'm hoping it's for something legitimate you know like a like a if that's severance pay i'm gonna go fucking crazy she was terminated for for uh pretty serious reason she shouldn't have any kind of severance package like none yeah yeah i, I agree um it's pretty 
worrying. Uh, <laughs> you're going to be. Yeah. I got a text from somebody overnight. Why are they complaining that there's people left on duty patrolling? I'm confused. Oh, you were on about Willy. Is this Willy? I would assume it's Willy because he said the same thing to me about how he was disappointed that we still had LSPD and I guess troopers. Um, who, patrol somebody's got to police the fucking city. I, don't, I didn't I go to the funeral on purpose either. It's not like I missed it by accident. I didn't want to go. Is he offended by that? I've been to enough fucking funerals recently. I don't want to go to any more. It's as simple as that. This guy's fucking problem. He's a reel, reel it in. Wind the neck in, Willie. Wind the fucking neck in. That's what I'm going to say to him when I see him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah I'll, uh, I just kind of, you know, I, I, would, I told him, you know, the sort of seat here and stuff like that. But yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, like, did did they know that the officers that went down? Like, do they? Is there a requirement for all officers to go? Like, why am I getting texts like this? It's just kind of pathetic, frankly. Like, if I if we had a funeral for a trooper <laughs> and Willie didn't want to go, I wouldn't shield him for it. He just doesn't want to go. Yeah, yeah, I can't blame people when there's a. Uh... We've had a lot of There's funerals. also people like completely distancing them from themselves from the wall and the wall blowout. So I'm not even going to respond. I, I can't be. I can't be bothered. If he brings it up to me or mentions it, I'm going to call him a bitch and tell him to bind his neck in. That's pretty much how I'm going to handle it. <laughs> Damn, Snow. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, on a on a separate note. Something concerning I, I discovered yesterday, um, and there is reasons for it, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna give it bluntly. So you know how Divine was undercover, and then Bass died, and then Divine came back and found Owen Dundee pissing on Bass's grave, so he shot him in the head and then tried to ocean dump him. Um, that was the reason. So we then went to extradite him, uh, and that's and then Jaeger, uh, you know didn't comply so that's why the treaty failed i discovered yesterday that at the time of the extradition and still to this day there is no report nor pending charges for johnny divine for the second degree attempt murder of owen dundee so there was just oh, zero paper trail at all at the time um it, it according to mountain that it was because of how they did his undercover persona uh and altered the mtw altered his profile so they couldn't actually just put his you know name or anything on there which i understand but then he said that Toretti basically said that for the integrity of the operation we can delay charging him until after the operation is finished <laughs> i was told the same yeah divine yeah. actually said that to me he said you should see a warrant for me in the next few days and that was uh a few days before the war even happened so yeah, well, um, obviously then there's the more concerning thing that on uh, the 11th of August, when Shelby leaked Divine, that uh, Brian and Axel were actively considering uh, killing Divine to cover up the uh, any leaks that he might have if he turned. <clears throat> so... Yeah, that was uh, confirmed by... I was told it by Toretti, and then it was confirmed by Bundy. Uh, when we questioned Axel on it, he said it was a joke. So, he's not exactly here to defend himself anymore, but after talking to Bundy, it, wasn't, it was definitely not a joke. It was a joke? Fucking hell, that bloke was... He was nuts. I'm sorry, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but Axel was fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i do yeah i think i got axel killed uh because he when we brought all this stuff up to him he said you know what i'll suspend myself until you have a decision made about what to do with me so he suspended himself and then 
he emailed us and was like, have you got a decision on my punishment yet? And I was like, I was like, Axel, this is an ongoing investigation. You don't have to be suspended if you don't want to. And then he unsuspended himself, went to the prison riot and got shot on the head. Ain't no way. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Is that Drainer? Drainer! Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's he's back. He's been in the Bahamas. He said. Good to see you, Drainer. Doc, I need to apologize for that outburst yesterday. I'm sorry. When oh. you called me a terrorist sympathizer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't it's know. Okay. What, I don't know what got over me. That's all right. An apology accepted. It's Brian Knight getting in my head, you know. <laughs> yeah. What, in what way? <laughs> <sighs> you know, I just very passionate about Los Santos and hearing about all the uh, treasonous filth locked behind bars. Oh yeah. And oh, uh, yeah. and people sympathizing with them got me kind of upset but i need to understand that's what done what's done is done and uh, i'm just here to do my job at the end of, i want to be a worker amongst workers fantastic sounds like a <laughs> communist slogan worker amongst work no that would be or something like share that. the wealth amongst workers or well, yeah something. that would work yeah, that, that would, would make more sense no. yeah 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 i'm glad well, you're thank here, you it's nice to see you Keep my keep my head down and get out there. Okay. Uh, Chef, good to you see you, Casman Chief. And... Yeah. Hey, Casman. Hey, have a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Take care, Chief. Good to see you, Snow. Uh, good, good to, to see, see you. you. Sorry to interrupt. Um, Sorry. Just know uh, the whole of Rust is at Airx. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's one of those things. Uh, McGregor is teaching Rust how to fly. <laughs> And so they're trying to move into Air X to impound his car or something. And I thought you should know. Uh, I'd rather that radio. didn't happen at my business, to be honest with you. I don't well, really I want police know, rolling in and arresting radio. people. I think he's calling a 78. Uh-oh. Dispatch 205, why is my business being used as an arrest opportunity? Please, please keep my business out of it. Keep my business out of it. Thank you. Do you have a warrant to go on my property? <clears throat> I would be careful how you proceed. Isn't Eric's public access snow? No, my hangar isn't. Oh, the hangar, I see. <clears throat> All right, I'll go back to where I Guess what you can say. You wanted to, you wanted to talk to us or to me? Oh, oh, to both of you two, really. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty insignificant what's going on. Um, so I'll make it short. I was just going to make sure we, we've not had the opportunity to talk since I transferred to the state or even beforehand. Um, but I know you both a okay did, but I, I would rather have a conversation in person than, you know, just transfer. And then that's that, if that makes sense, because that seems shitty. Um, but like I said, in the grand scheme of things, that's insignificant. So as long as you two are okay with it and I, you know, you don't have anything outstanding for me to do, um, then I will get out of your hair. But if... Uh, in light of everything that's going on, if you need anything from me, um, yeah, just feel free to ask. I mean, I, I guess I'll ask. Obviously, we've got no problems with it at all. But, you know, as long as you didn't leave for bad reasons, and it's just because, you know, I mean, I'll be honest, you, you, you're a trooper at heart, and I know that. But w did you leave for any bad reasons with LSPD or anything? Um, Not particularly. Uh -oh. um, I just felt closer aligned to the people in... Uh, state, but that's more to do with the fact that uh, I've been around the block a few times for a long time, and a lot of people in the state there are the same. Um, LSPD these days is a lot more of fresh blood, and that's certainly not a bad thing. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, listen, as long as uh, all we care about really is the, you, you, where you want to be and that you're happy to come on duty and stuff like that, so... As long as that's the case, and you know, we're all squared up and we're good.
and I'm, we're very happy for you. Uh, well, thank you for for uh, yeah having that opinion. I'll get over your hair because I know that everything's going on with uh, well everything that's going on. But if you need anything from me, please don't hesitate to ask. But are you okay? Like, are you you doing all right? Me? Yeah, I'm all right. I was in Parsons for a little bit. I don't remember too much. I wasn't very well. Um, I think it was just the war, you know. Uh, yeah, just the war. I think uh, I think I wasn't really well too well in Parsons because um, or I went into Parsons because I think the the whole air to air stuff didn't really go down how I was mentally prepared for it. I was prepared to do out airstrikes, and all of a sudden I was fighting countless amount of MIGs in the sky, and I think it just kind of got to me. But I got help. I'm all right. I'm good. I'm good. And I appreciate your, your concern. Of course. Listen, I, I've uh, I've been there. It's not a nice place. So uh, just make sure you, you know, you've got a lot of people that care about you. So just make sure you use them. That's what they're there for. Yeah, all right. Um, they need my help over uh, from one. So I'm going to go help them. All right. Um, all right. Thank you. Appreciate all of you. Thank you, Alex. Yep. All right. <sighs> I think he'll be fine. Um, I sorted the stuff out with Espinos. I misunderstood what he was trying to do. So he uh, he's going to go in. <laughs> they're not in the <laughs> hangar. They're in the they're in the helipad. Okay. All right. Good. So. They're good. Even if they were in the hangar, he'd be go. He'd be good to go in anyway. The day the police officers trying to do their job, and I can't really stop him doing that. But I am very protected over my business, guys. I will be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I understand. <clears throat> but okay. yeah, now they're moving in, so I guess. Yeah. Um. I'll be honest. There's a lot of stuff about Brian, but uh, to do with the panel. But I can bring it up at the panel and. You probably don't need to hear it twice uh, i think that's the point of the panel so i'm not going to bore you oh it's not boring. i'm 100 i'm going to be there currently that's the issue but what i was going to oh. ask if if i could write up something for my for one of you to state my opinion on all this stuff i don't know if that's something that's acceptable but if that is I mean, an option yeah, then I'd, that would be, I'd appreciate yeah, 100%. it 100 i would happily you know give your opinion because it, it does matter so yeah if you, right. you're not able to make it then then do that and i'll uh, i'll read it to the room that's fine I may be able to. It just kind of depends on. I, I'm not. I'm just waiting to hear back from about some stuff. So, yeah, um, I uh, I would like to be there. I, I guess my my general opinion is that I think the senator is more at fault than Brian is. I think there's things they could have done in the moment, but if they had done that during the war, then they could have all died. They could have, you know, and the whole thing could have failed. So I kind of. You have to also remember this is coming from... I have a more of a military mindset than a police officer mindset, especially with stuff to do with, you know, open conflict like that particular situation, invading the island. You know, a soldier is supposed to follow orders, and if the orders are given are that, then what, do you, what, what can you do as a soldier in that moment to stop that from happening? Mid-battle, when you're already dwindling on units... Or when you're already dwindling on support, you have no air support, you've got no tanks left, and you have a bunch of people backed up into a fucking tiny corner with one entrance going in. Obviously, I don't think the bomb was the answer. Terrible fucking choice. I will never support a decision like that. I wouldn't even ask an officer to do that shit. It could have starved him out. It could have dropped a fucking Moab on the, on, on the entire building. It could have done a bunch of things other than that. But I, I don't know how to punish someone that's being ordered to do something by someone like the senator and who he is and the power that he has. And then if Axel is not fighting it, then what is Brian, effectively a sergeant, going to do? But yeah, I couldn't actually wasn't aware. Um, I think uh, I think it comes down to his willingness. I guess is the question here. Uh, because uh, I mean, if someone gives me an order to do something like that, I'll be honest. I just, I'd, I'd rather get arrested. Uh, and if Brian, uh, for some reason, has, I mean, it's possible that he was fearing for his life in front of the Senate, Then that's a different story. Hey, but that's... Snow, pull out a gun and threaten to kill his socks. The doc, doc, doc. That's fine. He does that all the time. Give me your socks. Give me your fucking socks. Threaten to kill him. Threaten to no. kill him. 
No. Yeah, there you go. I'm a superior officer. That's how they want to treat it. A superior officer orders you to do something. You do it. You can still have I gotta morals. Do, I gotta call and I don't want someone in PD who doesn't have morals. Damn. Yeah. I think it's. Fair. I think that's fair. I, I don't. Uh, do you really think he was in a in a position to say no? He. I, think... I nothing set, 